giving back to the community through art. Cronkite News reporter Jennifer Alvarez talked to a muralist in Phoenix who was hoping to inspire the next generation of artists. From Los Angeles to Phoenix, Francisco Garcia always loved art, but it wasn't always easy. Growing up, he wasn't encouraged to pursue art. My teachers would tell me, Francisco, why are you doing art? That's never going to take you anywhere. You're never going to do anything with that. His schools didn't have access to art supplies either. All we had was like pencils. And by the time that I got to high school, I got introduced to painting graffiti with spray cans. How cool is that going from like pencils to spray cans? And once he picked up a spray can, he never put it down. Started doing a little bit of graffiti. I did paint illegally at some point. And when he got in trouble with the law, Garcia's life was turned around when he got the chance to paint a mural as part of his community service. I realized that I love to work with the community, so that's when I decided to travel, paint, and help people. When I'm painting, I just forget about everything and my surroundings and my life, and it, it's just me and the wall. You're just like flowing with it, and it's like poetry. Now, Garcia teaches art workshops in schools, businesses, and nonprofits to inspire young artists. I work with young people that range from places of like domestic violence or unaccompanied minors, incarcerated youth, youth in India, youth with autism. I try to teach them a little bit about identity, culture, history, and try to inspire them to be proud of where they come from because I feel that once we know where we came from, then we'll know where we're going. He not only strives to inspire, but also to empower through his art. I understand the power behind the art if it's focused in a positive way. In Phoenix, Jennifer Alvarez, Cronkite News.